Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna be a bit quieter today just because Christopher is actually live right now. That's just the way the day turned out. Um, don't hate me and you're gonna hear him. <laughs> twitch.tv forward slash Toppy22 and also go follow me on Twitch, it's free. It's uh, twitch.tv forward slash plantmeashley. I'm gonna actually be streaming there. So yeah, but we have an unboxing actually right now. We have an unboxing from Jay's Greenhouse, one of our favorite guys to unbox from. We got our coffee and we're ready to go. Okay, let's open it. Very excited uh, box from Jay's Greenhouse. I'm surprised if you don't remember, we've done tons of unboxings from Jay's Greenhouse in the past, present, and probably in the future. He sent me a mystery box, so I do not know what's in here, uh, but today's actually the last day of the giveaway, so if for some reason we haven't announced the winner of the giveaway yet on my Instagram and you still haven't entered, go enter the second, this literal second. I love the little things he sends, the little stickers. You guys should go follow him on Instagram. His account got hacked. He had to like start all over. I'm actually doing a giveaway with him right now. Okay, so I don't know how many plants are in here. So we're just gonna open them and uh, we'll find that out later. We're gonna start with this. Like I said, I do not know what's in here. I also have another mystery box coming later this week too. Oh my gosh. How fun. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Ashley. I do daily houseplant content most of the time. And uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube channel memberships, which you can join for only $5 a month. And those are available at the link in the description, or you can just hit that join button. But let's find out what's in here. <gasps> oh. Y'all, this, okay. This is philodendron serpents. This is a philodendron I have wanted for a long time. This is like, I've almost bought one of these so many times, but they are so expensive. Uh, so I never have. Holy moly, are you freaking kidding me? And I know he doesn't look like much, but this was really confusing because like I saw the fuzzy petioles, which might not look fuzzy to you because um, of all the polyfill, but it's almost like a serpent's like, or uh, what am I trying to say? Squammy ferrum. It's almost like a squammy ferrum like petiole with all the little hairs on it. And then I thought serpents, but I'm glad that I didn't have to like guess because freaking holy cow. That is so nice. Thank you so much. This is, every time he sends me plants, they just like, like for each box he sends me, they just keep getting nicer and nicer, which is such a blessing for me who has no budget for things like this. I know that you see me have all these really nice plants and you're like, wow, Ashley must be able to afford all that. No. Mm -mm. And I didn't buy those plants I was looking at on Botanicus the other day either because I snapped myself out of the need to buy. <sighs> and I'm glad I waited because this is really exciting. I literally was gonna be buying plants the other day on Etsy and I snapped myself out of it somehow. I don't know how I did it, but I did. And I decided not to buy plants. I think I got all the polyfill off. I usually am so bad at getting it all off, but look, <gasps> I have a serpent, you guys. This is a plant like I don't ever talk about on my channel because it was just out of reach for me. Like I was talking to one of my plant friends about one the other day and I was like, I really want that. And I looked, we looked at them online and I was like, oh, okay. This is really hard because there's so many packing peanuts, but I'm gonna do my best. I guess the names are on the pot, so I'm just not gonna look. And we're just gonna open. Oh, of course, no name on this pot. Okay, this is either Syngonium Confetti or Spot. Can't tell, love them both. Look at the little pink dots. I have been so into Syngonium lately and this is so fun. And on this one right here, there's actually like this big white spot or big pink spot that's gonna be coming in. Come on, see it? This leaf is gonna have such a big spot on it. Raven's playing with the flies. Frick, I have a serpents. What the heck? I almost bought one you guys like two months ago before I knew I needed to move. Well, I was, I, well, I'm not gonna say almost cause it wasn't even in my cart and I didn't even bid on it cause it was like a live auction, but they were selling one for 350 and it was like a whole rooted, like big plant. Anyways, it literally had one leaf and a growth point and I almost did it because I, <laughs> It's like my, I don't know. There's a lot of plants I really love, like the serpents and the squamacol. 
I really both, I like both of those plants a lot, but like I never talk about them because they're honestly not like plants people care about. A lot of the plants I like, people don't care about. People would rather have a Sancti than an Ilsamonii, which is fine, but I would rather have an Ilsamonii. People would rather have a variegated Billytai than an Ilsamonii. I would rather have an Ilsamonii. I love Adaba Poinsi, people like Billytai more. I don't know, the plants that I like, people just don't love as much. But if you want me to talk about the plants that like I'm really in love with, I can. People just like don't love them. Look at this whole spot that's like coming in. That's so pretty. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much for sending me this. Now, I think there's only one left. Oh, I saw the pot. <laughs> this is a plant that's been on my wish list forever and you guys have watched me almost check out with one so many times. We're just gonna take this out off. Oh, so this is what waiting to get a plant that she wants so bad feels like. This is a good feeling. You guys, this plant is one I have actively searched for for over a year at this point. This is Anthurium pallidiflorum. It is a velvet uh, leafed, like dude, what am I trying to say? Pendant Anthurium, which means it hangs. And it is so perfect. This is my compromise for a Wendlingeri, which is like $300 to $500 plant, uh, which is my favorite. It has the corkscrew and fluorescence that you've probably seen before, but this looks near identical. Um, the flower is different, obviously, but everything I could have asked for more. It's literally freaking velvet belts, okay? And he sent me such a big one. We had talked about this, but it was never like set in stone he would send me this. So I am literally over the moon. Like I don't even know what to say. I'm just trying to be careful before I'm gonna have to vacuum. Chris sees me get soil on the floor and he gets like big sad. <laughs> Tape off and I'm just dropping soil. This is literally the nicest thing anyone's ever sent me in the mail. I mean, that's not true, but like it is, you know what I mean? You guys, I have genuinely almost purchased this plant. Like actually almost purchased, like literally put my card information in, hit checkout, put in my address and then backed out of buying this plant probably over 20 different times, no exaggeration, probably maybe even longer than that. All of my friends and members will tell you this plant I have wanted for so long, but I can't honestly justify buying anthuriums for myself because they're not easy to propagate. And so if I was ever in a pinch and I like needed to sell stuff like I was before, I couldn't just like propagate my anthurium I've only ever done it once and it was with a forgetty eye that was arguably very easy because it's a forgetty eye. But I don't want to ever be in a situation where I have to like sell a whole plant. And so because of that, I just like don't buy them. And I've only just recently started regrowing my anthurium collection. But look, this is just like, this is what it feels like to wait for a year or more to get a plant that you want. And you were just patient and you just waited for the right time and the right moment. And this is my sole Anthurium pallidiflorum. <sighs> the one I was always meant to have. <laughs> that is such a good feeling. It feels like a really big payoff, honestly. It's literally velvet, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I would just rather have 10 of these than one Waraquianum. I just think they're so much nicer and prettier and they like go woo 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 woo. I used to have a Vitara folium, which was different. Those aren't velvet, uh, which is why I sold it. I bought it thinking it was gonna be velvet like two years ago and it wasn't. Um, and so I just waited and waited and waited. I talked to a bunch of people and I was like, is Pallidiflorum velvet? And they were like, yes. But a lot of people get Pallidiflorum confused with Pendens, which is another one and also Bakerii. And then there's another one too. I don't know, there's so many like this. And I shopped and shopped and shopped around, talked to a bunch of people and finally decided I wanted the Pallidiflorum because what I really want is a Windlingery, but that is just honestly out of my price range. And that's something I'll only get except for like trade. I'll need to get a trade. What an amazing plant haul. This is really nice. This is arguably probably the best like the nicest box you've sent me to this date, dude. What the heck? Serpents, which is like, holy frick, completely uncalled for. Oh my gosh. This is like, like I love the Syngonium, but just these two are actually like on my wish list. 
that I have like my personal wish list that I don't really post anywhere, which maybe I should start doing, I don't know. But it's like, I wanna keep some things for myself. That's why I only do like top 10 wishlist videos now because like, I don't know, I love to collect, like I like to make content off stuff, but like what, when do I get to just do this for me? You know, this is just like a moment. I just want to sit here for a second. You guys, I love plants. I love how beautiful both of these ones are. The fact that I'm going to get to, the fact that you sent me this without telling me first is crazy. Thank you. But this is so nice. Like this is too nice. Especially for its market value right now and you just like sent me one. That's really nice. This is really nice, but I can't believe this one. This one doesn't feel real yet. It hasn't quite hit me in my gut. You guys, this week has been a really hard week and this is like so nice. And then my little Syngonium guy. Oh my God. Thank you so much for sending me these plants. I literally cannot thank you enough. My mental health needed it. Not like just getting plants, but like these plants. And then something else I do want to tell you guys before we go is I got sent these awesome shirts, okay? By Boardwalk T-shirts. I love this. So they are not sponsoring me. They literally were like, can we send you these shirts? Do you like our stuff? And I normally say no, but honestly, I looked twice because the account was verified. So they're verified on Instagram. And it's an artist who makes and prints all of these shirts. This one says gloom where you're planted. You guys are gonna love these. And this literally isn't an ad. I just, I love all these things and I just wanna show them to you. Uh, my next round of merch, I'm probably gonna do a, like a limited merch drop and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be working with Boardwalk t-shirts to do it. I'm just really excited to show you. I love their quality. Like I put this sweatshirt on, it's super lightweight, but also warm. Normally I don't like to wear sweatshirts because they're just way too hot, but these ones are like, I don't know. It just fits so nicely and I love the design. I like the white, but then I got this other one that I was wearing earlier. This is actually my favorite design. It's, Frankenstein's Monstera, and then she's alive. And these are just like, they're normal designs. Like sure, it's like, it fits Halloween vibes, but it's literally like, and I'm a medium by the way. I got a medium in all, I got a medium in everything. And I think everything fits pretty nicely. Really like, I mean, honestly, I love all these designs. And the fact that it printed so well on black. Then they just sent me some hand towels, which are so cute. I love them. Anyways, they don't just make plant shirts, but um, I'm probably gonna do my merch through them, which is honestly the only reason I'm showing you. Cause I wanna show you guys how good this freaking quality is, dude. Like, oh, it's just so nice. Love, 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 love. Anyways, thank you so much Boardwalk T-shirts for sending me some shirts. And thank you so much Jay's Greenhouse for sending me literally some of my wishlist plants. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and being there for me. Thank you so much Jay's Greenhouse for sending me this stuff and also Boardwalk T-shirts for sending me my new favorite sweatshirt. Genuinely, I, this is my new favorite sweatshirt. It's been on me for two hours, unironically, and I'm probably not gonna take it off today. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, being here with me hanging out with me and my new serpents. Oh my God. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and tweet me at PlantMeAshley. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch at PlantMeAshley. I am truly at PlantMeAshley everywhere. But yeah, I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch, I think twice a week. We're gonna figure it out, but it's gonna be repots, chores, like plant chores. Um, and then like just online plant shopping, which is what I do every day. And so I figure like, I might as well just do it with you guys. People don't really like when I put that stuff on YouTube. Uh, they don't watch it or they feel like it takes up space on their timeline or they unsubscribe. So we're just gonna stick to streaming on a streaming platform. And I'm really excited because there's not like any gardening content on Twitch right now. Like hardly any, there's not even a category for plants or gardening. Don't forget to join the YouTube channel memberships. They're only $5 a month and they are super fun. Come join my family. That was weird, weird parasocial. Come join my memberships there. They're, they're $5 a month and we have over 220 different houseplant parents. Hopefully I'll see you there and let's get to the end of the video fun stuff. Hello and welcome to the end of the video fun stuff. I would like to thank Deb Daniel and Yasmin Stefan for becoming a YouTube channel members. I would also like to thank Liliana Ramos, Kim Klanowski, Ashley's Planties, Cole M, Houseplant Heather, All the Green Places and Botanicas for the extra and continued channel support. Our extra
extra special comment shout out of the day goes to Sabrina Ellert, who says, love you and your content. Focus on the love and the plants haters are gonna hate. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye.